Today we're going to be playing Drug Dealer Simulator and do what any good criminal would do. We're going to cheat. I'll show you everything you need to know to make these cheats work and some of the cool things you'll be able to do. Stick around. Guess who's back? Back again. What's up guys and welcome back. Before we begin, I'd just like to mention my new Patreon page. Here you can show your support for the channel by becoming a patron. I've been receiving a lot of requests for custom cheats, so now I'm offering that as one of the perks of becoming a patron. So if you'd like to show your support and collect some awesome perks, consider joining. Links in the description. All right, let's begin. All right, the first thing we're gonna wanna do is load up Cheat Engine and select the Drug Dealer Simulator process. Next, we'll wanna load our cheat table into Cheat Engine. Next, we'll want to go into the inventory area and character area of our tab menu. That will make sure these areas are activated. As you can see, it's reading the values. All right, pockets. Pockets basically governs the quantities in each pocket. As you can see, we've got one item here, drag it in. It's showing up over here, we've got one item. Let's change that to five. Now go out and go back in and you'll see it's updated. And the same applies for backpack. As you can see, I've got an item of 99,710. That's my cash. If I change it here to 50, as you can see, it reflects there. So that's how you can control your inventory. Here we have the weight and size of your backpack. Weight impacts how quickly you can run. If you've got more weight, you're gonna run slower, things like that. Done with inventory. Now you can see we've got your bank account. I'll show you an example of where changing that value is beneficial. As you can see, we've got $850.97. Now we just change this to anything else we want. And we'll, we'll change location so it updates the value. There you go, easy as that. Next, you've got your stamina. This is basically your meter for when you're running. If you freeze this value, you can run forever. All right, we can change our level here. So, which is reflects over here. And level is beneficial if you wanna open up new areas or have new drug selling opportunities. You can change this value. Experience is basically your it affects this bar and how quickly you get to the next level. General risk factor and exposition factor right over here. Both of those can be modified with these. Skills. Here you can change your skill points. So as you can see, we've currently got five and that reflects right here. We can change that to any amount we want. You can directly edit each of your skills right here with these values but I recommend using your skill points instead. So to demo that, go out, come back in. So here you can upgrade things until you're satisfied. We'll go down here to other. Here you can select whether you're a fugitive or not and you can change your order limit. I'll show you an example of how order limit can be helpful. So we'll place an order with Eddie. As you can see here, this is your order limit. We'll add in this, but we can't order it because it's exceeded the order limit. So what we'll do, close this, go out, change the order limit to anything above that value. Go back in. As you can see, now we can place the order. Coordinates. This is my favorite area because you can do some really fun things. So coordinates are basically the character's position in space in the game. X equates to up and down, the Y equates to forward and back, and X equates to left and right. So I've assigned a hotkey to the space bar, so every time you press it, it adds 500, which means every time you press jump, you'll go up. Now you can run around the town and parkour to your heart's desire. Similarly with the arrow keys. As you can see, if you press up against an obstacle, you can go right through it. Now it's not necessarily always up. So here I'm pressing the up key, but that's because I'm facing this direction. So if I was facing this way, then the down key would move me forward. Same with left and right. Sir, stop. 
Oh, here's an example. I demoed it quicker than I wanted to, but if you press F1, it warps you back to your apartment. So far, the apartment is the only warp point I've set, but if you would like me to add other warp points, let me know in the comments. And with the up down arrow keys, you can go places you're not supposed to be able to go. So as you can see, the door's locked. Now we're in. There's actually some really cool hidden things inside of some of these, so I don't know if maybe you get access later in the game or not, but for now there's some pretty cool stuff you can see. Another example is this store doesn't even let you go in. I'm not sure if you get to go in later in the game or not, but, but if you press the down arrow, in that case, we're in. So you can walk around, take a look inside. When you're satisfied, you just jump straight out. I've added some notes in the bottom under table extras. Just a reminder that F1 is the warp for the apartment. I can add other warps here if you guys want to. Uh, let me know in the comments. All right, guys, there you have it. Tons of cool stuff you can do with these cheats. If you have any suggestions of things to add, let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.